today. From Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. up second down defensively here you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the nfl so when they're that high power you've got to find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win so if they're up around 24 28 30 they could be in some trouble and i think so because then you turn it into a shootout and that means your offense has to keep pace so the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off at the 45. Now he's able to get it back to the 33 yard line. Montgomery to begin the drive. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. A nice performance last week. Recognized as NFC Player of the Week after going over 100 yards rushing. I just love the vision. I love the wiggle he has. I also love the power. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Fields. Flush to his right. He's going to go out of bounds, but he 20. The last drive, remember, a similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. It's a jet sweep. Here comes Higgins. A nice little juke. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Fields now to throw. This one swung out to Montgomery. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Here's Fields. Flushed out right. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic.
They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Now it's Fields. And the hook up here to Allen Robinson. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, there you go. On first and ten, here's Fields escaping the pressure right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. And off comes to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. It sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the gun, here's Fields. Being chased out left. A beautiful fake. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Out of the gun, Fields. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly. But... On first down, it's Fields. Going to let one fly for Robinson. A oh, contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. Touchdown! Chicago! Allen Robinson. On oh, first down, Fields. Eluding the pressure right. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. It's the former Patriot down the ground. And the Eagles will take over here at their... <laughs> Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up. Fields on first down. Flush to his right. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Partner as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Set him back on second. Go, go, go. 
Throwing on second and long. Fields going to let one fly for Robinson. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. It's the former Patriot, Dylan McCourty. And the Eagles are going to get it back here. Just... They'll run on first down. It's Montgomery. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave him with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now a first down throw, Fields. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Throwing again on second down. Fields. And he finds Montgomery complete. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. They're going to try the jet sweep. Robinson with it. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Allen Robinson, his 25th touchdown. Tying Emmett Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Bears have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. Check 31, check 31. Check 52. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. Well, that certainly comes under the heading of critical mistake, doesn't it, partner? You can't have that. You've got a chance to tie the ball game from the two-yard line. Now you've got to go back to the seven-yard line and take the same chance. And he'll get into the end zone as a two-point conversion. A shotgun snap, Fields. Oh, he'll let one go deep for Higgins. And that'll be incomplete as it's knocked away. But a penalty flag is down. So who's this going to be on? So pass interference the call, and that does not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. On first down, it's Montgomery. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And great. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. David Montgomery with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Bears have broken the tie. To throw his fields. Flushed out right. 
gets past one man. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Here's Field at first and ten as they search for a go-ahead score. And incomplete on the deep ball. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Shifts past him at the 45. And to the 46 he goes and no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. throw fields gonna let one fly for Robinson and that is caught one-handed yeah, oh my he pulled it in a big connection on that one 36 yards already over a thousand yards receiving this season that catch is just gonna add to his total certainly not resting on his laurels he's trying to continue to gain as many yards as possible and continue this big season Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. At this stage, you've got to hustle. Got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. Looking for a cutback lane. Now Fields. Going deep for Montgomery. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath. And boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. He'll have a first down past the 40. And Field's going to have the first down before sliding to a halt to avoid the contact. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. One play action. Fields. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. Got a man. It's caught inside the 10. A big play that time through the air. 33 yards. And now we've got a review here. All challenges in overtime, of course, initiated by the replay official here in the stadium. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the officials saw as this play will stand as is. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Once more Montgomery. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Another chance to maybe end it right here. This is third and goal. Field's going to hold on to it. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. A lot of
of scoring. There's no doubt about that in this one, Charles. Points, they were not in a premium. They were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game. They also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 <laughs> with three or four home runs mixed in. So for the Bears, the win pushes their record now to 11-2 on the year. And they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, it was a win they needed to turn the season around, but instead, they fall to 5-7. and seven. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to EA Sports.